Sister Maryam? Um, yes, I can. Yeah, I can. Sorry, please. Uh, uh, apology from my side. There was some connection issue. Then I had to use VPN. And through VPN, I'm using this. So if uh, the connection, if there is this connection problem or the internet is slow or weak, so please forgive me. But tonight, I don't know what was the issue. So at the end, I had to send another link. Oh, uh, the chapter which we are going to discuss actually from last night, the chapter started about prophethood. So tonight's chapter is regarding Hazrat Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam, Prophet Ibrahim chapter number six. So before starting chapter number six, let's have a discussion on the grammar part. I gave some exercise to you through WhatsApp group, okay? So can anyone come forward and fill this? For example, Baraba, Baraba, Barabu. Siga number one, he hit, they hit, they all hit. So if anybody wants to participate, okay, Sister Sakina Muhammad Ratansi, please. Um, so Samia will be Samia and Samia O. In this, if you see Samia, he heard. Samia, yeah. They heard. They heard. Oh, they all heard. They all heard. Do the next one as well. No, um, Amila will be Amila, Amilu. Amila, Amilu. Okay. They did, they all did. They all did. So this Alif, if you see Samia, Samia, this Alif represent dual for third yes. person male. And this vowel yes. represents plural for third person, male. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, who else raised the hand? Okay, Sister Zainab. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. For wa'ada. Is it? Wa'ada, then what will it be? Wa'adu. Wa'ada, wa'ada, wa'adu. So what will be the meaning? They promised. Then they all they promised. All promised. Yeah. Okay, akhada, he took. Akhada, uh, they took. Akhadu, they all. They all took, took. okay. Yeah. Okay. Alima, Alima, Alimu, Alimu. They Alimu, knew, they, they all, all knew. knew. It was easy. Yeah. So these were the, as I said in my last class last night, that there are 14 sigha for past tense, 14 forms of past tense. So we did only first three forms for male, for third person. So what I will do now, inshallah, it because a lot of students are asking that they are unable to join. Okay. Okay. Now, tonight, what we, we are going to do, we are going to do another three sira, but this three sira will be for female, third person female, singular, dual, and plural. So, how we started, it was kataba. The first sira was kataba. Then we added alif. Kataba. Then after kataba, we added vowel for plural for male. Now for female, how we are going to form the first sira for the third person singular? This sira is called sira number four, which is for female singular third person. So after kataba, only ta will be added. It will be katabat. This ta, if you see, this ta in Arabic is called Ta at ta anis. Ta which represents and differentiates 
from kataba. Kataba is for male and katabat is for female. This ta is called ta'e ta'anis. Ta for feminine, which represent that this verb is for female, feminine. So how to continue? Again, we added alif after kataba. Now we'll add alif after katabat. What will it be? It will be katabata. It will be katabata. Khub. Last one for tonight's session. So how we started, please repeat after me, wherever you're sitting. Kataba, kataba, katabu, katabat, katabata. katabata. And last one, how will form from this kataba? Kataba will make silent, ba, ba will be sakin now. Katab, and we'll add noon with fatha. This noon is a pronoun which represents that this verb is for third person, plural, and for female, katabna. So please, can you repeat after me? Kataba. Kataba, katabu, katabat, katabata, katabna. Okay, these three we have introduced. So all the six siga, all the six forms of past tense for third person are finished now. So tonight, okay. Now what I'll do, I'll just give you one siga, khalaqa. So any one of you can come forward and just fill in the blanks for five another sigas. And can anyone do another five sigas from this khalaqa? Please raise your hands. Okay. Sister Samina, please. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. Khalaqa. Okay. Khalaqa. 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 Khalaqa, Khalaku. Khalaqat. Khalaqat. Khalaqata. Khalaqata. Khalaqna. Khalaqna. Ahsandi, Jazakumullah khaira. Okay. Another I'll give, inshallah, to someone else. Alema. Who can come forward? Abbas, this brother Abbas, you were interested as well. I give you. Walaikum as brother Abbas, please. Uh, Alima, Alima, mm -hmm. Alimu, Alimu, Alimat, Alimat, Alimata, Alimata, Alimana. See, the first Sira, what we'll do, we'll make silent meme. Okay. Alim, Na. Alimna. Alimna. Ahsan jazakumullah khaira. Inshallah, the same verbs which I gave it to you, please try to form six sigas out of it. For example, akhaza, 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 akhazu, akhazat, akhazata, akhazna. Kharaja, kharaja, kharaju, kharajat, kharajata, kharajina. Nasara, Nasara, Nasaru, Nasarat, Nasarata, Nasarna. This is how you can practice. Main thing is this, try to memorize every day. Three sigas are not a lot. You can easily memorize. But if it starts piling up, then at, at the end, it will be difficult. So try not to postpone uh, today's assignment on tomorrow. Okay, let's start from the first word is Adam. <clears throat> Adam is a proper name. Now there is a discussion on this that what is the root word of Adam? The root word of Adam is Adama. Hamza dal mim Adama. So why Adam is called Adam? So ulamas have a discussion over here. They say the word Adam is from Adimul Ardu. Adim is called surface. Ard is earth because the dust 
of Hazrat Adam alayhi salatu was salam was taken from this world, from this earth, from the surface of this earth. And the surface of earth in Arabic is called Adimul Ardo. That's why he's called Adam. So this is one opinion. Second word is Al. Al means family. But in the Holy Quran, if you see the word Al is used in different meanings in the Holy Quran. For example, Al is used for family, as I mentioned here. For example, Allah says in Surah Ali Imran, verse number 33, Inna Allah hastafa Adama wa Nuhan wa ala Ibrahim wa ala Imran ala al-alameen. Indeed, Allah chose Adam, Nuh, and the family of Ibrahim and the family of Imran salam, over the worlds. So what here means Al is family. But sometimes Al means followers as well. For example, in Surah Ghafir, verse number 46, Allah says about the followers of Fir'aun, Adkhilu ala Fir'aun ashadd al -adhab. Put the followers of Fir'aun into the most severe punishment. So sometimes Al is used as, as family or sometimes as followers. Another word which we use actually for family is Ahl. For example, Ahlul Bayt is the household of Rasul Khuda Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So most of the scholars have said that there is no difference between Al and Ahl. Ahl is Alif, ha, ha, Ha with two eyes, and Lam. Ahl and Al, you can write after Al, Ahl, you can write. The meaning is family. There's no difference. It is one of the opinions. I don't want to go in detail now because it will take more time if I go in detail. Ibrahim is a proper noun, and Ibrahim is not an Arabic name, actually. Uswa. Uswa is exemplar example and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has introduced hazrat ibrahim alayhi salatu as an example to all the to all the humanity actually that follow hazrat ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam how he stood against all the mushrikeen of his time he was all alone and the holy quran has introduced hazrat ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam as one nation that Ibrahim, he was one person, alayhi salatu was salam. But Allah is introducing that he was not alone, he was like a nation. And a person can become like Hazrat Ibrahim, alayhi salatu was salam, as we see Hazrat Ayatullah Khomeini, Rizwanullah ta'ala, an, an, he all alone stood against the oppressors of his time. And what happened? All the people joined Hazrat Khomeini, Rizwanullah ta'ala, an. So he is the exemplar according to the Holy Quran, as the Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. Bait. Bait is home. There is another word for home. Can anyone tell me? Please. Manzil. Mm -hmm. Manzil. Okay. I'm expecting some something else. Yes. Yeah, Makan. Makan. Okay. Sister Sakina Muhammad Ratinsi. Makan. Brother Abbas Ismail. Yeah, Brother Abbas Ismail. Dar. Ah, dar. Ahsan. So another word for bait is dar. Dal, arif, or ra, dar. Makan is there as well. Bait. But for house and home, we use bait or dar. These are two different words. Hasana is goodness. It is from Hasan. Hasan is beautiful, good. So Hasana, goodness. Hikmah. Hikmah is wisdom. Hikmah is wisdom. Imran, Isa, Maryam, Musa. These all uh, four words. Imran, Isa, Maryam, and Musa. Our proper nouns, there's no discussion here. Muslim. Muslim, the root word is salama. Seen, la, mim, salama. The one who submits. And Allah says that Hazrat 
Ibrahim والسلام, was Muslim, for example, he said, Allah says, Muslim means the one who submits. The one who submits. Uh, Al Islam, there is a hadith. It says, Al Islam, who what taslim? Islam is nothing but submission. There are people, sometimes they say, and they object, they, La ikraha fi deen, there is no mm, compulsion in Islam. So, why uh, these mullahs and maulanas come and they are forcing us to do this thing and that thing? I want to live my own. So there is no compulsion in Islam. So the word Muslim itself says the one who submits. When you accept Deen Islam, then there is compulsion. There is compulsion. What does it mean that La Ikraha fi Deen? It means that La Ikraha fi Intikhab Deen. If you want to choose a religion, no one can force you. No one can force you. For example, if you want to join a school or a university, no one can force you. But if you join a particular school or a university, then you have to follow the rules and regulations of that school and university. In the same way, if you have accepted Islam, then as al-Islam huwa taslim, it is submission. Then you can't say, I will not follow this and that. No, then you have to submit. You have to follow, follow, follow the rules and regulations of Islam. Muslim means plural of Muslim. Those who submit. Misak, misak, root word is va tha ka vav tha kaf. Misak is a firm covenant. Firm covenant. Nabi is prophet. The root word of Nabi is naba'a. Noon ba hamza. Naba'a. Naba'a means. An important news. So Nabi is a person actually, if, if we connect with the root word Naba'a, an important news, for example, uh, the 30th Juz starts with this word actually. That they will be asked about the important news. And according to some of the narrations, it is mentioned that one of the Misdaq and the example of that important news is the Vilayat of Ali ibn Abi Talib on the day of judgment will be asked. So Nabi is the person that who takes important news and information from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and delivers it to the people and to his nation. Nabiyun or Nabiyin is a plural of Nabi prophets. Ab, if you remember, we did a word similar to this was Akh. Akh was brother. Ab is father. And again, as I said yesterday, that Aba, Abu, Abi are different forms. One is subjective, one is objective. The actual word is Ab. Ab. Son, for son, the word is used is Ibn. Another word is used for son. Can anyone tell me? Walad. Walad. The word is Walad. Now, this is your assignment. Go and find out the difference between Ibn and Walad. What is the difference? Oh. Aula. Aula means ha. Huh. Sorry. Ha. Huh. Aula, what I have done, if you see, only one of the meanings is, is, is written is nearest. But there are some different meanings as well. One of the meaning is nearest. You can write on your book, worthier, more entitled, more appropriate. Aula, the weight or the wazn of this kalima is af'al. And whatever a kalima comes on the weight of af'al, it is used for comparative degree or a superlative degree. For example, if you say akbar, akbar is bigger or biggest in Arabic. If I say asghar, smaller or smallest, awla, more appropriate or most appropriate or nearest as well. Because in the words, the meaning will be nearest, awla. Hanif. And this word in Quran is used for Hazrat Ibrahim, 
In English, you do the translation upright. But if you go linguistically, the word Hanif is from Hanafa, Hanunfa, which means to tend to, to turn toward. The inclination is called Hanafa, to incline towards something. Why Hazrat Ibrahim والسلام, is called Hanif? Because he turned toward Islam, the religion of Allah, by not tending to his nation and idol, idolatry. Hope. That's why he's called Hanif, the one who inclines toward truth is called Hanif. Samma is a past tense. Samma is a past tense, is the first sira, sira number one. He named Samma. Siddiq, Siddiq, the root word is Swad Dal Qaf Siddiq. Siddiq is truth. One is Sadiq, one is Siddiq. Sadiq is the truthful. Siddiq is very truthful. The one who speaks only truth. That person is called Siddiq. Oh. And according to the hadith of Rasul Khuda, one of the titles of Imam Ali is Siddiq. Millat, Millat is creed. creed. Nasrani. Khub. If you see at the end, you see ya e mushaddat. Ya and ya, there is a tashdeed on that. This ya and tashdeed on top of it is called ya e nisbat. This ya is called ya e nisbat. Nasrani, the one who is associated with the Christians, that he's called Christian actually. Yahudi means Jewish or or ya e nisbat or sometimes this ya e mushaddad is used for singular. Is used for singular. If I say Nasran, Nasran is Christians. And ya e mushaddad, when it comes at the end, it makes it singular. Ya e mushaddad, Christian. Yahud is plural. Yahudi is singular. Khub Arab is plural. Arabi is singular. Ataina. Ataina is a past tense, is a seerah number 14. We will, inshallah, cover after two days. We'll cover this Ataina. Is a past tense we gave. So someone raised, uh, okay, Sister Sakina Muhammad Ratansi, you raise hand, please. Yes, I had a point to make. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I think Siddiq, the title Siddiq was even Bibi Fatima's title, right? Siddiqa to Tahira. Yeah, yeah. She, she is Siddiqa. Tai Marbuta comes at the yeah. end. Siddiqa is one of the title of Hazrat Fatima Zahra. Salamullah alayhi Siddiqa. Let's start. Please raise your hands. Please raise your hands so I should. Now, what I'll be doing tonight, I'll be asking more and more vocabulary because what I found out last night, uh, few students are a bit, 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 bit weaker in vocabulary. See, if you are not memorizing vocabulary and you are not good at vocabulary, you cannot do the translation. And you are here actually, uh, you are learning a new language and a new language is always dependent about, upon vocabulary. So first thing you should do, and as I said at the beginning of this crash course, that you have to give 15 or 20 minutes before the class that you should memorize vocabulary. If vocabulary is there with you, okay, now I can help you out how to connect the words with each other to form a translation in the sentence. But please work, work hard on vocabulary, please. Sister? And, and, and another thing, I see some faces, they are coming one day, two days they are absent, one day they are coming, they are coming one day they are absent. If, even if you are listening to the class uh, from YouTube, it's not going to help you out. Because when you are in the class, so it has an environment, you learn a lot, you are ready for your turn. So you are putting your efforts, but when you're listening, so it's a 
passive uh, uh, learning. So I will really appreciate that. Please come to the class. Please, Sister Sakina Muhammad Ratansi, and please raise your hands. Yeah. Um, I wanted to say something, uh, Sheikh, uh, before I do my vocabulary. Our iftar time is normally at 8.30. So please excuse me if I'm five minutes out of the class or five minutes late to the class for okay. Fridays and Saturdays. No issues, but it's not my uh, problem, actually. It's the Dar Islama programs, actually. Yeah, uh, and I'm in England, and, uh, so I'm joining no from issues. England. Five minutes, so. there is no issue, but please do okay. come to the class. Please, do yes. ask. Uh, Al is family. Now it's I, I didn't. Next is? Exemplar. I can't hear you, sorry. Exemplar. Exemplar is Uswa. Can't you see the screen? I can't. Home. Bait. Bait. Akhazna. Um, we took. We took, okay. Now I'm asking from previous chapter says. Alladhi he gave. No, he who. He who, sorry. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Sakina. Uh, Brother Muhammad Shabir, please. Yes, Salaam Alaikum, Sheikh. Alaikum Salaam wa Rahmatullah. One who submits. Muslim. Muslim, Ahsan. Hasana. Goodness. Goodness. Okay. Hikmah. Wisdom. Ahsan. Muslimin, Muslimun. So Muslims. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Those who submit. Sorry. <laughs> Those who submit. Day. Uh, Nahar or Yom. Both are correct. Mithaq. Firm covenant. Firm covenant. Ahsan Jazakumullah, Muhammad Shabir, brother Muhammad Shabir. Okay, where are the hands? <laughs> you were raising a lot of you. Okay, Sister uh, Fatma Lakha. Yes, Assalamu alaikum. Oh, wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Okay, ya. Yeah. I or me. Me or I, okay. Prophet. Nabi. Nabi. Fa. Mm, so or therefore. So or therefore. Ahsanti. Nahar. Day. Daytime. Day. Yes. Aziz. Mm, almighty. Almighty. Supreme. Alim. Alim. Last one. Mankind. Nas. Ahsanti. Excellent. Khub. Uh, Sister Kanis. This again is okay. Yeah. Nabijun, Nabijin. Uh, messengers. Uh, Nabi is prophet. Messenger is Rasul. Prophet. Prophet. Ab, Aba, Abi, Abu. Uh, father. Ab is father. Son. Ibn. Ibn or Walad. Ibn Banu Bana Bani. Can you see? So I've added some other words as well. As well. Ibn Banu Bana Bani. All are there. Khub. Samir. The all hearing. All hearing. Aula. Over, upon. No, 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 no. It is Allah. Aula. First. Nearest, nearest, more appropriate. Okay. Ula. Ah. <coughs> Ula. Ula is uh, over. No, it, it is Allah. Over is Allah. Ain Lam. Yeah, it is Ula. <coughs> Ula is the first. Asante. 
first or this dunya okay first or this world thank you sister okay sister maryam thala assalam alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah hanif um uh upright upright what was the linguistic ma'ana meaning of hanif um i don't remember okay all together jamia jamia okay sama heavens aha uh -huh. sama is was that is sama that is sama sama we just did today tonight oh he named he named he named it is from ism sama yeah. that is sama ah. okay mm. very truthful siddiq siddiq milla firm covenant ah uh -uh. no no creed creed jazakum allah khaira Uh, Sister Muhaddisa Dinani. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As I have written, creed a set of fundamental beliefs, a guiding principle is called creed. Okay. Okay. We took. Um, we took. We just did tonight. Khazna. Asna, a Christian. Uh, Nasran. Nasrani. 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 Okay. Now, uh, why a Christian is called Nasrani? Insha Allah, if I get time, insha Allah, in the next class, I will have a discussion on that. Why these people are called Nasrani? Hub. Yahudi. Jewish. A Jew, a Jewish, Jewish. We gave. Itabaru. Itabariyat karna. No, do not know. Itabaru. They all followed. Itabaru. Asante, brother Abbas Bhimji, please. Salam, witness. Uh, Shahid. Shahid or Shahid, both are correct. Ma'a. Ma'a. Ma'a al Yusra. Ma'a Yusra. Mm -hmm. Ma'a is with. With. Okay. Uzkur is imperative. Okay. Is it? Mm -hmm. Remember. Remember. Ati'u. Ati'u Allah. Wa ati'u Rasul. Uh, ati'u. Um, we gave. No, no. Ati'u Allah. O B. O B. O B E. O believers. O B E Y. Obey. Obey. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I was giving you some hint. <laughs> Istafa. Istafa. Uh, to choose. Istafa. He chose is a past tense. He chose. He, Mustafa means the chosen one. Clear evidences. Last clear, class, last night. Clear evidences is um, uh, I remember this one. I'll give uh, you singular of it. Bayena. 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 Ahsan. Last one. Is. Uh, when. Remember when. Remember when. Ahsan. Ahsan. 
Sister Urshi Fatima Natani. Sorry, I'm asking a lot of vocabulary tonight because I found out that we are having some problem in vocabulary. Sorry. Alaikum. Alaikum as salam wa rahmatullah. She was, it was. Kanat. Ahsanat, ahsanat. Ma kana. He is not. He is or not. Is not or he happy. was not. Both are correct. This ma is called my nafia for negative. It's a negative particle. Kana is he was. And ma is not he was not or he is not. Baasna. Uh, I don't remember. Okay, Baasna. I'll just give you a hint. R A I S E D. Raised. V raised. We raised. You sell little. He gives authority to. Last one. Alladina. Alladina, those who. Those who. Hope. I'll just skip now. I'll I'll move. Okay, only two or three were remaining. Let, let me finish. Worksheet six point one. Sister Fatima Zahra Molidina. Hello. Assalamualaikum. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Please help us. Um. Is um. Chose the all he chose he followed. Okay. Um. The first one. Um. Is the far that will be he chose, and he chose. Uh, yeah. The second one because there is uh. O at the end, so it will be they all followed, so it will be A. Then uh, for the second one, mm -hmm. a cousin na, so it will be we took because uh, the na is there at the end. Awesome. And uh, for the second one, uh, ataina, again, it will be we give because okay. again, the na. Awesome. Okay. Then uh, Uh, the third one, the first one will be um, Misakis. I, I, I think it's from a uh, covenant. So it yeah, should be from covenant and Millet is Creed. Yeah. A is correct. Hanif and Uswa. Uh, Hanif will be uh, upright mm -hmm. and Uswa will be exemplar. Exemplar. Also. A. A. Then, Fifth uh, one, Samma and Nasrani. Uh, it will be A. He named and Christian. He named and Christian. Asanti Zazakmullah Khaira. Someone had raised hand, Sister Fatima Khimji. Sister Fatima Khimji? Yes, Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Walaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You want to participate or do you have some quiz? You have some question? No, I can't participate. Okay. Okay, the, the first one is uh, uh, Siddiq, truthful, and certainly uh, Qad. Okay. And what is uh, Aula? Aula is... Um, nearest, high. nearest, uh, more appropriate. Okay, second one. Remember... And he was not, or he is not. Uh, of, uh, of kur and uh, uthkur. uthkur and makan. Makana. It's makana. A. Yeah. Number third, father and family. It's ab and al a. Number fourth, nearest bet. Uh, mm. Ula and Lock. It's A. Mm -hmm. It's A. That is not Ula. Ula is first. It is Aula. There's Aula. a difference between Ula and Aula. Fifth one. Upright firm covenant. Mil uh, the answer is uh, Millat and 
me fork. Millet is creed. Okay, then then Hanif. Hanif. Zainab, please. Okay. Walakin kana hanif. Alikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, please, Sister Zainab. Walakin kana hanifan musliman. But he was a black Muslim one who submits. They were true. Can I say A? A is the correct answer. Wala kinna. Wow. We won't do the translation because of la kinna. La kin, la kin. That kana. He was Hanifan. A bright Muslim who submit. Submits, yeah. Worship. Abudu means um, worship of Allah. What the what the what the ku? Um, worship Allah and be God wary of Him. You worship Him, be wary of Allah. You worship Him. Abudu Allah. It's um, a. It's okay. Wait, wait, wait for a while. It's it's incorrect, huh? It's a. Worship Allah and be God wary of Him. B is incorrect. So it's okay. mistake. It should go to A. Yeah. A is the correct yeah. answer. Because be wary of Allah. What taku Allah is not written here. What taku who? So yeah. the pronoun is mentioned here. So him. So it's a mistake. A is correct. Okay. okay. <laughs> Allah certainly, Allah does follow the the wahu follow him. Can I say B? Certainly does B. Asante, it's B. Correct it. Okay, it's B. Asante. Zakhirah Khaira. Do the two one two as well. Next two as well. Millat Abikum Ibrahim. Millat. Millat. Millat is creed. Mm, creed. Yeah, creed. A bikum. Okay, of you, Father Ibrahim. That's B. Creed of your father. It is you. It should be your father. Creed of your father, Ibrahim. Okay. Now, you just make some changes in A. It is certainly there is for you all a good example. Just make some changes. Okay. Can you tell us? Katkanat lakum. Nukum Usmatan Hassana. Good. God can a lakum Usmatan Hassana. I think it certainly cannot good Usmatan Hassana. A? It's A. Canat Usmatan Hassana. Certainly, that is for you all a good example. Okay, Asamti Jazakum Allah Khaira. Sister Zainab, Sakina Zainab Juma. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullah. Salamun ala Ibrahim. Do the translation of the first phrase. Peace be upon Ibrahim. Peace be upon Ibrahim alayhi salam. Ibadin al-mu'minun. Our servants, our believing servants. Our servants, the believers, or our believing servants, both are correct. Our believing servants is better. Inna Allah hastafa Adama. Certainly Allah, he chose Adam. Certainly Allah chose Adam. Because Allah came before, there's no need to say he. Because he goes back to Allah. So you'll just say, certainly Allah chose Adam. Wa is akhazma minan nabiyyina. And when... He, we took min and nabi, min from the prophets. When we took from the prophets, you can write before when in the bracket and remember when we took from the prophets. Last one from you, 
واذكر في الكتاب إبراهيم واذكر and remember في in واذكر and remember in the book إبراهيم Uh, she's busy. She can't attend the class. Okay, no issues. Thank you. Oh, Thank Sister Ifat Kimji. Sister Ifat. Okay. Yes, Sheikh. Yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Certainly. Mm -hmm. He was he was the, the truthful mm -hmm. uh, prophet. Certainly he was a truthful prophet. Ma kana Ibrahim Yahudiya. Okay, prophet. Okay. Ibrahim alayhi salam uh, Yahudi uh, was not a Jew. Ibrahim was not a Jew because Jews say that Ibrahim, because Jews, Christians, and Muslims, they all follow the Abrahamic religion. They all are, Abra are having the same Abrahamic religion. So Jews say that Abra Ibrahim was Jew. Christians say that he was a Christian. Allah says that he was not, neither he was a Jew, neither he was a Christian. Rather, he was a Muslim, the one who submits. This was the thing actually he possessed, possessed actually. And this thing we should have uh, in our nafs as well. Whatever Allah says, we should submit to him. Khub, please do. Walakin kana Hanifa. Okay. Wa is and. Um, and he was Hanif. Hanif is what? Upright. Lakin, lakin, but. Tana, he was Hanifa, but he was upright. Okay. Okay. Khub. Uh, last one. Atayna ala Ibrahim al Kitaba. We gave mm -hmm. all his family, uh, Ibrahim, Prophet Ibrahim, the book. We gave. Uh, yeah. we gave the book to the family of Ibrahim. He gave family of Ibrahim the book. Ahsanti. It was good. Alhamdulillah. Brother Abbas Ali Ismail, please come forward. We're running out of time, huh? Yeah. Wa atayna hum mulkan azima. And we gave them supreme kingdom. And we gave them supreme kingdom. Wa Ibrahim is qala. And when and Ibrahim when he said. Okay. Is when qala 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 he said and he goes back to Ibrahim. So there is no need to say he said. And when Ibrahim and said. And Ibrahim, when he said, or when Ibrahim said, okay. Worship Allah, you all, and be God wary. Be God wary of Him. Of Him. Because who? You have to do the translation of who. Inna awla nasi bi Ibrahima. Certainly. The closest of mankind in relation to Ibrahim. Excellent. Certainly the nearest or closest or more uh, appropriate of mankind in relation to Ibrahim. Okay, who are these people who are closest and the nearest to Hazrat Ibrahim? This is the next part of the ayah. Okay. Certainly those who followed him. Those who followed, 
So those who follow Hazrat so Ibrahim والسلام, they are the nearest of mankind to Hazrat Ibrahim In the same way, if we do not follow Rasul Khuda sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, so whatever we claim, we are not nearest or dearest to Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu wa sallam. This is the message of the Holy Quran. Do the next one as well. Wahada Nabiyu Walladina Aman, please. And this prophet and those who believed. Those who believed. Ahsan, Jazakumullah Khaira. Brother Sibtain Mulidina. Peace. Walaikum Asalaam wa Rahmatullah. Millata Abikum Ibrahim. Creed of your father Ibrahim. Creed of your father Ibrahim. Huwa Sammakumul Muslimina. He named you all the Muslims. He named you all those who submit all Muslimin. It's correct. Ahsan. Qad kanat lakum uswatun hasana. Certainly, um, certainly there was for you a perfect example, a good example. A good example. Certainly there is for you all a good example. Khub. Sorry. Fi Ibrahim. I did it myself. Fi Ibrahim. Walladheena ma'ahu. In Ibrahim and those who were with him. Okay, do the fill in the blanks. All fill in the blanks you will do, inshallah. Brother the Sibtan Mulidina. Certainly, Allah chose Adam, Wanuhan, Wa'ala Ibrahim, and the family of Ibrahim. The family of Ibrahim. Wa'ala Imran, and the family of Imran, Al Adam, over the world. Okay, was good for the Kitab Ibrahim in Nankana Siddiq and Nabiya. Was good for the Kitab Ibrahim. And remember in the book of Ibrahim, in the whole planet, certainly he was a truthful prophet. A very truthful prophet. Fakad Atena Allah Ibrahim Al Kitab will Hikmat of Atena Mulkan Avima. Certainly we gave to Ibrahim to the family of Ibrahim. Mm -hmm. uh, the book and the wisdom, and we gave them a supreme kingdom. A supreme kingdom. In our Nasi Ibrahim, a Ladina Tamaru, who had the Nabi, you will Ladina Amano. Certainly, the nearest of mankind mm -hmm. in relation to Ibrahim are those who followed him, who mm -hmm. obeyed him, mm -hmm. and this is the prophet. And those who believed. Those who believed. Last one. Lakum Uswatun Hasanatun fi Ibrahim Walladina Marahu. Certainly for you all, there is a perfect a good example in Ibrahim. Mm -hmm. And those who are with him. Those who are with him. Ahsan, it was excellent. Now this is the last part. We'll do the <laughs> translation of okay. Uh Sister Nergis Sikilada. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. So I'll break down the ayah for you. You just do the translation of the whole ayah. Okay. Um, certainly Allah chose Adam and Noah and the family of Ibrahim and the family of Imran over the world. ما كان إبراهيم يهوديا ولا نصرانيا ولكن كان حنيفا مسلما. Ibrahim was not a Jew, and nor a Christian, and but he was upright, one who submits. Last one. Inna awla al-nasib Ibrahim al-ladhin al-tabaruhu wa hadha al-nabiyu al-ladhin amanu. Certainly, a nearest of mankind is in relation to Ibrahim, those who followed him, and this prophet, and those who believed. Those who have believed. Ahsanti, it was excellent translation. Jazakumullah khaira. Brother Muhammad Shabir. Are you there? Yes, I'm like. Alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Brother Shabir, please. Yeah. Uh, 
so uh, so therefore certainly uh, mm -hmm. we gave uh, the family of Ibrahim uh, the book and wisdom and uh, we gave him a supreme kingdom Hello. Uh, we gave him or them. Uh, we gave uh, them them. Yeah. وذكر في الكتاب إبراهيم إنه كان صديق النبي. And remember, in the book of Ibrahim, uh, certainly he uh, was uh, the very truthful and the pro uh, the prophet. Yeah. The translation and remember in the book of Ibrahim. It is actually and remember in the book Ibrahim. Sometimes the meaning is Uzkur is remember, and sometimes the meaning is mention. So if you go and see the translation, so some in some of the translation it is mentioned and remember or and mention in the book Ibrahim. So Allah wanted to introduce Hazrat Ibrahim wasalam, to the world. That he was a truthful prophet. Asan Jazakumullah Khaira, brother Shabir. And Sheikh, Sister. also uh, just a clarification. Mm -hmm. Sorry, uh, last night you asked with regards to Anzalna and Nazalna. Mm -hmm. I think the difference lies uh, when we talk about uh, Anzalna, it's uh, we sent down all together. Uh, so not in pieces, but when we talk about Nazalna, that it's a piecemeal, so part by part. Uh, is that correct uh, or this clarify? Excellent, excellent. Anzalna, if Allah says in the Surah Al Qadr, Inna Anzalna fi Laylatil Qadr, it means that the whole Quran was revealed in the night of Qadr. Okay, at once. But when He says, Nahnu Nazalna Zikra, Nazalna means that within the period of 23 years, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Holy Quran. Now, there is a debate here. What does it mean that the whole Quran is revealed in one night and then within the period of 23 years, gradually it came to Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Jibreel wasallam brought. So there is a different debate. I don't want to go in discussion. If I'll get some time, I, I can have a discussion on that. What does it mean? So there are two, three, four different theories here. So we are running out of time. We are already one minute uh, past, actually. Okay. Ahsan, Jazakumullah. Excellent reply. Ahsan. Those who remember, I really appreciate. Say, Sister Sayyida N. Sister Sayyida. Okay. You're not there. Okay. Whoever is interested, please raise your hand. Uh, Sister Mukarrama Walji. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Millata abikum Ibrahima huwa sammakum al muslimiya min qabla. Creed of your father Ibrahim. He named he named you all Muslims from mm -hmm. before. From before, ah, sent it from before. But as I said, from we will not do the translation. It's the previous translation. I just removed this from. Why? Because whenever I said uh, min comes before qabl or bad, we won't do the translation of min. Okay, next one. Wa Ibrahim is qala li qawmihi u'budullah wa taquhu. And Ibrahim, when he said to his uh, people, Mm -hmm. Worship you all, Allah, what the Kohu, and be God worthy of Him. Excellent. Last one. But is a Hazna Minan Nabijina Misaka, Waminka, Wamin Nuhin, Wa Ibrahima, Wamusa, Varisa, Namariam. And when we took a covenant, a firm covenant from the prophets. When we took, and uh, from you, and from you, I mean, no, and from no, and from no, and from Ibrahim, and from Ibrahim, and Musa, and Isa, 
the son of Maryam. The son of Maryam. Ahsanti, Jazakumullah, Khaira. So these two are remaining. So who want to participate, please? Uh, MF, who is MF? Please come forward. Let us finish this. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salamun Yeah, please. Yes, peace uh, be on Ibrahim. Mm -hmm. Surely he is from the believing servants. Yeah, surely he is. Yeah, he was from our believing servants. Last one. Qad kanat lakum uswatun hasana. Certainly. Mm -hmm. For you is a good example in Ibrahim mm -hmm. and those who are with him. And those who are, yeah, who were with him. Ahsan, Jazakumullah Khaira. Thank you for your time. May Allah accept your efforts you're putting uh, in understanding the Holy Quran. And at the end, we'll do dua. That may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Khuda wa ta'ala, may Allah do the zuhur of Imam Zaman Ajjal Allah ta'ala Farazul Sharif. And at the end, I just want to mention that at the end, after the after, after chapter number eight, there will be a quiz. There will be a quiz, will be uh, choose the best answers. So you have to perform. So uh, prepare for that quiz, inshallah. It will be after chapter number eight. So tomorrow and day after tomorrow, day after tomorrow, we can take the test or after that. Brother Abbas, okay, whoever wants to leave, he can leave or she can leave. And those who are asking the question, they can stay. Uh, Brother Abbas, BMG, please. Alaikum uh, salam wa rahmatullah. My question is, is more relevant to, to Nabi Ibrahim. Um, and um, because of there is this verse in Surah Baqarah, uh, which uh, relates to uh, Nabi Ibrahim being chosen as an Imam or being appointed as Imam. Mm -hmm. And he asks the question, what of my family? Mm -hmm. and, um, and the response that he gets is that uh, they will not include the unjust. Um, mm -hmm. We have been going through these verses today and in which um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has... Uh, referred to Nabi Ibrahim as a believing servant, as a Muslim, as the upright Hanif, as a nation, as a truthful prophet, mm -hmm. and that Muslim kingdom has been given to his family and he is a good example. Uh, mm -hmm. I just wanted you to um, assist me in just clarifying on, on, the, on the difference between the title of Imam as opposed to the other titles that we have spoken about today or the attributes. And um, just clarify with regards to, you know, this, the, the nation, the corrupt nation part. Only one thing I can mention here because it's a, it's a big debate or big discussion can be. One thing we can come to know that the status of Imam is higher than the status of Rasul and Nabi. Rasul and Nabi, why, why is it so? Because after examination, he reached up to the status of Imam. Now, because you passed the exam, now you are the Imam. Now, what is the meaning of Imam? Imam is the one who is followed, who is followed, is from Umam, from Imam. Now, there's a discussion, I don't want to go in detail. I don't have enough time to do the tafsir, sorry. Later on, maybe I can send you a link. Uh, what was your name, Brother Abbas Bhimji? Just you do one thing, just send me a message on WhatsApp. So inshallah, I'll send you the details. So I cannot go a lot of in detail here actually. Okay, ya Allah, please, any other question? Please, I will request you, please memorize vocabulary and on daily basis, what we are covering, the grammar part, six, six sigha, what we have done, zaraba, zaraba, zarabu, so just memorize, memorize. That's what you have to do. That's what you have to do. 
if you start memorizing, then at the end, when the verbs will be coming in front of you, you'll be able to pick them, pick that particular verb that, okay, this is this sigha, what does it mean? You just have to remember the root word of that particular verb. Now you'll be remembering that, is it a past tense or is it a present? Or it's from which sigha? The life will be easy. Otherwise you have to cram it and it's very difficult. Any other question, please? Uh, Sheikh, I want to ask you about this Kad Kanat. So this Kanat is a, is a, uh, is a, is a feminine. So is it pointing towards the Hasana or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kanat afterwards, if you see Uswa. Uswa at the end is Tai Marabuta. Ta with, with round Ta. If round Ta comes on any name, that particular name becomes feminine. So Uswa is feminine and it is for Kanat. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Any other question? Okay, Haya, please remember in your du'as, Imam Zaman alayhi salatu wasalam, and all the mu'mineen. Iltimasil wa, khuda hafiz, khuda hafiz.